Hey stars, it's Kaylee and Zoe, my mean girl. She wanted to sit in and say hello to everyone. She is really excited because we got another friend, another doll. Got it from American Girl Place in Chicago. I don't know if the bag is new, but I like it because it's got the big star on it and there's like this pocket and it fits the doll box perfectly. Uh, I know that they had a birthday one before, but this is the first time I saw this one. So I'm really glad to have gotten it. I'm glad because I could actually probably fold this because the American Girl Place Chicago charges you for their bags. This is a doll that I wasn't necessarily sure I wanted or not. I couldn't decide and then she was on a great deal on sale and she was still in stock in person at American Girl Place Chicago and I couldn't pass it up. I had heard lots of people having quality control issues with getting their doll purchased online. So I am glad I was able to pick her out in person. So I'm really excited about that. It is my second Josefina mold. So I wasn't sure how I'd feel about that. I still am not sure how I feel about it because Zoe, my main girl, my mini me, my favorite little girl, She's a Josefina mold because she's a secondhand Rebecca. And I thought that I was going to get this doll and it was going to be too similar. Almost all of her features are different. The only thing that's the same is the mold. And I have tons of classic molds and I don't feel that way about it. But this will be my first duplicate mold that is not a classic mold. And it's only fitting since my girl Zoe over here was my first non-classic mold as well. I would love it if you would comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and leave a like on this video. It means a lot to me. I'm really excited for 2024 and I would really appreciate if you would join me on this journey. So consider subscribing. Okay, as soon as I pull the box out of this bag, you're gonna know exactly who it is. Here goes. I got Yvette. Now, I did get to pick her out in person, so I think I picked a good one. I guess we'll see when we fully take her out of the box, but let's talk about that first. So this is my second World by Us doll, and I was hesitant to get her originally because I was afraid of her hair, but I think that I would have regretted not getting her if I didn't snatch her up for the price that she has been for the end of the year sale from American Girl directly. So if I decide that I don't like her down the line, I'm sure somebody else would love to have her. So. For now, I decided I need to get her. The World by Us boxes are incredible. And I love the idea of the World by Us collection. I wish it would have kept going. I wish they would have done more with it rather than clearly getting rid of it. When the dolls came out and they had other outfits that came out as part of their collection, I was on my hiatus. I didn't know anything about them when they were actually out. I wish that I had gotten some of those though because they're so cool and they're so expensive. But I think American Girl, they're sleeping on this. Maybe they'll see how popular the dolls are and bring them back or bring back the World by Us line with new characters or something similar, but I don't have a lot of hope for that. Same thing with like number four. I would love if they would bring back the number four mold and they would make a lot of money by doing so, but I don't know why they don't. But anyways, all right, let's get out Yvette Peters to be renamed soon. Let's get her out of the box. All right, well, she comes with her book, of course. I don't read books very often anymore, but I think that this would be a really great read and I'm glad to keep this in my collection. Okay, so let's talk about Yvette. So here she is. I think she's really pretty. I did try really hard to pick out a good one. So hopefully she's good. I think she's really cute. I think at least from this distance, they look very different. Yvette has this gorgeous hair. She has gray eyes, which almost look like a blue green gray. Uh, I do have the new gray eyes as well on my number 115. So I'm already used to those. And I think the gray eyes are absolutely gorgeous. I think they might be my favorite eye color, honestly. I don't like orange, but I am really glad to own this dress. It's really cute. Like I love the style of it and the belt is nice. And it's nice that it's orange because I don't have any orange outfits really. I'm just not a big fan of orange but I'm glad to have something orange because the outfit is really cute and maybe I'll like it more. It's not the like most orange um, and I really, really love her shoes. Okay, well, let's get her out. <laughs> I know I Dream of Johnny likes to push the little plastic things through the holes to try and save it, but I don't think I can do that. So we're just gonna cut her out. When you're opening these dolls, you have to really make sure that you're not cutting the outfit. Sometimes this is really hard for me to do. I can't get the angle and the strength to get her out sometimes. Okay, now is the freeing part of releasing her. Okay, there we go. All right, here she is out of the box. Let's get these things off of her. That came off pretty easily. My husband gets really mad because he'll find these pieces everywhere 
the little plastic things because I open the doll and then I get so excited I don't pick up all the pieces so they end up all over my house. So I think she's a really pretty doll. I think I did a good job picking her out. I hope that I did. For me it's hard because I see the Josefina mold and I think Zoe. I think this girl because she is the Josefina mold to me. Okay here's Yvette. Let's see. Why do I always get a doll with really loose limbs? I feel like the legs are never stiff. Like she can't hold her leg up. Does she hold her arms up? Nope. Nope, she can't hold her arms up. Barely. And it has to be the right angle. I don't understand why they're always so loose when they come to the box. Like they should make them tighter, then it gets looser when they sit there. I don't know. What I don't like is how shiny her freckles are, which I guess it's good it's not showing up shiny right in the camera, but her freckles are like not matte. They're kind of shiny. And she does have the printed on eyelashes. I could not find it all in the store that you could not see the coloring left behind the printed eyelashes. So they do look dark, but I don't think it necessarily looks bad on her. I think it makes her look a little bit more unique, a little more different from Zoe. I love the color of her hair. It's gorgeous. I love the color of her hair. It's very unique to my collection. I feel like she's got some natural highlights and then of course the curliness of her hair is obviously super unique. She is in number 20 skin tone and I already have two girls that have the number 20 skin tone. My Carmen who is a 122 and my Nova who is a 120. This is everybody's favorite part all the time so let's take off her hairnet. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Look at Miss Thing. Oh, it's fun. Oh, that's cute. I think it's cool because she's got like quite a bit of volume just right out the box. I feel like it looks really cute like framing her face like that. It's cute. I do feel like it's kind of like longer in the front. I don't know. I need to play with it some more. It's also like less curly on top than it is on the bottom and maybe that's just like box head but it's cute i need to learn more about hair care for this hair but i think she's super super cute i am going to rename her i have not decided on a name yet part of my collection goals right now or my collection rules almost is to not have more than one doll with the same first initial so b g h i j q t u x and y i think that those are the letters that i have left that i am able to utilize for my collection for my rules i do have a couple names potentially for her but i think i need to like sit and be with her more to determine but i'm not sure so this is yvette but to be renamed. So this is Zoe. If you follow me over on my Instagram, you'll see her all the time. She is my absolute favorite girl. She never wants to look at the camera because she's a diva and she doesn't like to look at the camera. Neither do I. I can't blame her. I do not like to look people in the eye. So I cannot get her to look at the camera. She's always like looking slightly somewhere else, which I didn't want this girl to do that. So I want to compare them though. Side by side, they look super, super different. Zoe has a different skin tone. Zoe is a classic light skin tone. She is a custom secondhand Rebecca doll. She has much different eyebrows. She doesn't have the printed lashes. I feel like the mold is actually slightly different. So that's cool. The lip paint is different. The eye color is different. The freckles on this girl are custom by me. So the freckles are different. Um, the hair obviously very different. Although the coloring is similar. Obviously Zoe's is darker, but the like tone is very similar, honestly. They're both super cute and I'm super excited to have another Josefina mold in my collection and have another doll. Yvette is very cute and very different from my Zoe, but she is my favorite girl. I like could never replace her. She is my favorite. She's my comfort doll. We have the exact same hair color if you cannot tell. Uh, my hair is a little bit darker now because it's the winter and I haven't really been outside but and her hair is shinier because of synthetic but yeah our hair is the exact same color which is the biggest reason I wanted to get uh, Rebecca as my mini me. But anyways so here is my favorite girl and my new girl. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and if you want to know anything else just message me over on my Instagram or comment down below. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. Bye.